Hey everyone, you are watching Master Builders and in this video I'm going to show you how we motorize the tram from the Lego City Square set. This set does not come with train tracks, but underneath there's some really cool little wheels down here that fit on the train tracks. So you have to add the train tracks and then I'm going to show you what we're going to add to motorize this. The first few things that you need are the motorized train wheels. So this piece you would find if you have any train sets. We have a couple train sets, so we pulled this out of one of them. And we also pulled out the battery box, which was in the train set, and the IR receiver, which also was in there. You always need these three pieces to make uh, the train wheels function. And then you definitely need your remote control so that um, you can control the wheels. And then we didn't add very many more pieces, so this is all we added. So these are all the pieces that we added. Super simple pieces that you could probably find in your Lego collection. We just found them in ours and then we pulled these four pieces out of our train. All right, so let me get started and show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna mostly be working on the front car. This one has the driver sitting in it. We're gonna mostly work with this one. So we're gonna take these two off and put them to the side. We need to get these this motorized train wheels inside of here. So we're gonna be modifying this so that it will hold that. So the first thing is we're gonna take this front part off. Then we're gonna take out the driver. There's this little gray piece down here that goes from here all the way to the front right here. We're gonna pull that out. And that popped off the whole driver with those pieces. And we're gonna put him to the side because we are gonna come back to him and use him. We're gonna be pulling off this whole top part. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to take off these two pieces right here. So I'm gonna take these ones off as well, just to make it easier. We won't be using these, so I'm gonna put these to the side. So now this whole part will come off. This part. This is the back, so I'm just gonna line this up right here so I can kind of remember how we're gonna put it back on. Okay, then obviously when you're modifying things, the play, it affects the playability and some of the features, but motorizing things are a lot of fun, so <laughs> this is just what we do. But we have to take off all these chairs. And then we're gonna take uh, these front parts off. This. We will be using these, so hold on to those. Then we're gonna take off all these parts down here. We are gonna be using this one, so hold on to that one. We're not gonna be using these, so put these to the side. Then I'm gonna take this back part off, if you just kinda squeeze it off. We need all those pieces, so it should, it just, comes right off like that. So we're gonna hold on to that and we're gonna take this front part off as well, leaving all of this intact. The parts that I'm gonna be using on here are these two orange pieces, two of these black side pieces here, and I'm gonna use this, um, this tan plate down here and this big gray plate right here. So I'm gonna pull all those off. Actually, I, and I'm gonna use this gray piece as well. The rest of this, we, we're we not gonna be using the rest of this, so I'm just gonna put this on the side. All right, so here's our pieces. I'm gonna be adding these ones in here, these ones that um, I told you about in the beginning of the pieces that we're gonna be adding. And so now let's build our motorized train car. So we're gonna take this over here, and we're gonna take these two black pieces, and there's this kind of like little this little like lip right here and it'll just actually stick right in. I'm gonna take this red piece and put it on, this is gonna be the front. And here we have the back, I'm gonna use this piece right here. We're just building this high enough so we can get a, the plates across here. And then we're gonna take this black piece and put it right here. There you go. Then we're gonna take this orange piece and we're gonna hook it underneath of this piece that we added on to here. So like, just like this. See, it doesn't stick on there very well. 
And since this is the back, we're gonna take this back piece and we're actually gonna put this right on here like this and be kind of careful. And then this part is gonna be a reinforcement um, all the way to the back here and here. There we go. So like that. And then we're gonna take one of these white pieces and put it right here. There we go. So now it's a little more sturdy. We're gonna do that to the to the front. So we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it underneath of here. It's kind of attaching to this to this black piece right here. But remember this was just kind of sitting right in here. And then we're gonna put the front part right on top, like right on top of the orange piece, like this. In the middle. So here's underneath. I need this guy over here, I'm gonna take his gray piece and put it underneath it here. I told you I'd need him. Like that. And then we're gonna take this white piece and put it on top of here. There we go. Okay. Now this plate will fit on here really nice. So we're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna put this plate right over top of this. So here's kind of our, our train. Then I'm gonna put this piece underneath of our driver. And then I'm gonna put these pieces back on. But the way I'm gonna do this is it's gonna, it is gonna stick here. Um, but I'm gonna put one of these in between it. Just so it will hold them together in the middle. But that's not attaching anywhere. So it ju it's just so it'll hold it in the middle. And we'll do that on the other side. And then we're gonna take this. And remember, this is the back. This is the back. And we're gonna actually thread this through here. And we're gonna stick it on the white plate. Put our driver in and we can close this and put this back on so here's our train car ready to be attached because we need to still add the battery box and we need to add the IR receiver and you can see that this it lines up perfectly right there you can see that it lines up really nice there are lots of different ways once you get to hear what you can do this IR receiver works the best if you put it right on top of the train, right? So if you had it right on top of the train, um, it picks up your remote a whole lot easier and it goes around great, but it kind of looks funny. So I'm gonna show you how we hit it in inside of the train. So we're gonna pull up the lid and this is not gonna actually attach in here because this part um, hits up here. So it's just gonna kind of sit in there. So we're gonna put, uh, thread this one through, and then we're gonna thread this one through, and we're gonna attach this one to the blue side, so the blue dot. And make sure you have this on one. And then we're just gonna ever so lightly set it there. <laughs> and then we're gonna just close that so it stays in. I know, it's not super pretty, but that's not the point right now. The point is having fun and motorizing it. This is a little bit tricky, but what we need to do, we're gonna be opening this up, we're gonna take this, this side part off. It comes off very easily, and this one too. And this black, these two black pieces right here and right here are gonna have to come off. So just um, pull this off. This part is a little bit tricky, but you need these two pieces right there and these two pieces right here to come off. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull these ones off too. So those come off, it's gonna have a, a little gap. And then this side, you gotta do the same thing to this side. And pull those off. Let me stick that back on. So I'm gonna put, these back here back on. 
And so these pieces are just gonna go off to the side. Then we can ever so carefully attach it back on. And this is actually gonna be thread right through there. And then we put this back on. Uh, make sure you keep it tight and put this one back on. That's all we're doing there. And you can close that. We need to put our battery box in here. So make sure that you have um, this part facing the front, but we have to obviously take out some more chairs. All right, so with it empty, we're gonna thread this through. You can attach these carefully attach them because it's like delicate put this back on clip this onto here and then you can turn it on and stick it right inside here okay so here we have our fully motorized train and I'm gonna put it on the track but I'm gonna make sure that I put it this way we're gonna have our driver going this way. All right, and that is how you motorize the tram from the Lego City Square set. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you are able to do this at home. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe because we have all sorts of other ideas of motorizing sets and we really have a lot of fun doing these videos. So we'll see you next time.